Sony A7S III unboxing. Oops, it's already open, sorry. What's up, everybody? I'm Dan Amesqua with Amesqua Multimedia and Marketing. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about my new little toy, the Sony a7S III. I was gonna do an unboxing for you, but I pre-ordered the camera from a local camera store and I ended up being on the backlog, so I ended up getting it late. That ended up causing a delay. I had clients that were waiting on stuff from me, so when I finally got it, I just needed to hit the ground running. So I went out and started using it. I apologize, I did not give you a proper unboxing. So first things first, I've got a 14 to 24 on here. No, this does not come with the camera. This is a Sigma 14 to 24. But one of the main things everybody is excited about is that, just the stupid little flip screen that comes on it. <laughs> Anybody that vlogs knows that this thing is going to be crucial into checking your focus if you're doing uh, vlogging. Some of the things, the top features here, the top knobs are slightly different from my Sony a7 III. Um, the back as well is a little bit different. My favorite feature about this camera, above everything else, is the menu. Just about anybody that has used a Sony camera in the past will attest and will agree with me on this. This menu is heads and tails better than what the old one was. Being able to quickly and easily access all of these functions, as you can see, it's a, quite a bit easier to see compared to the old camera. The other thing I'm really excited about with this camera is being able to shoot in RAW. Now right now I have my Atomos Ninja on top of my camera that I'm recording with. Just took it outside across the street and I purposely overexposed the, the house across the street. Now the interesting thing was on the side of my driveway is a bunch of bushes. Straight on is a house. The house was blown out and overexposed and the bushes were in the shadow. So it was a perfect opportunity to be able to see how much of that dynamic range I was able to capture and how much I was able to adjust and post. So I was able to bring up those shadows to be able to see you know, all of those colors that were in there, not just that black. And the same thing across the street, you know, it's a stucco, it's a white house, it's got a white garage door. And so when I brought that detail back, I was excited that I was able to adjust those highlights back down into a legal range. It was pretty impressive. Being able to take it from a blown out house to all of a sudden you've got a garage door and everything looks like it was exposed correctly is incredible. You know, me being a longtime photographer, working in raw photography, you kind of start to expect that that's what you're able to do in video, but you just can't. And so with this camera, now you can. 